Today's topic is Ebola virus disease, or Ebola. Ebola virus disease is a severe and usually fatal illness in humans and other primates caused by the Ebola virus. The condition, which was formerly referred to as Ebola hemorrhagic fever, has a high risk of death, killing between 25% and 90% of people who are affected. In 1976, the disease was first identified in two simultaneous outbreaks, one in Inzara, a town in South Sudan, and the other in Yambuku, Democratic Republic of Congo, a village near the Ebola River from which the name of the disease was coined. The largest and more complex epidemic outbreak of this condition occurred in 2014 to 2016 in some part of West Africa, with 28,616 cases and 11,310 deaths. The outbreak mainly affected three countries in West Africa, Liberia, Guinea, and Sierra Leone. Some cases were also reported in some part of Central Africa. Ebola virus disease spread between these countries, starting in Guinea and then moving across land borders to Sierra Leone and Liberia. Causes Ebola virus disease in humans is caused by an infection with a virus of the Filoviridae family, genus Ebola virus. Five species of the genus Ebola virus has been identified. Zaire, Sudan, Tyre Forest, Bundabugio, and Restin. The fatality rate of Ebola varies depending on the strain. Zaire Ebola virus is the most dangerous and is responsible for the largest outbreak. This strain can have a fatality rate of up to 90%. Ebola Restin has never caused fatality in humans but has caused diseases in other primates. Ebola is thought to be a zoonotic virus. This means that it originates in animals and then spreads to humans. Fruit bats are considered as natural Ebola virus hosts. Ebola enters the human population through contact with blood, secretions, organs, or other bodily fluids of infected animals, like monkeys, chimpanzee, fruit bats, gorillas, and baboons. It then moves from person to person the same way. Bodily fluids that may contain the virus include tears, saliva, semen, breast milk, sweat, mucus, urine, and feces. Entry points for the virus include mouth, nose, eyes, open wounds, cut, and abrasion. According to the World Health Organization, only people who are seriously sick can spread the condition through saliva. After recovery, Ebola may occur in breast milk. Therefore, it is not known when it is safe to breastfeed again. The infection can also be transmitted through contact with surfaces and objects contaminated with the virus. The Ebola virus may persist in the semen for many months, even after recovery leading to infections via sexual intercourse. Based on present evidence, the World Health Organization recommends that all Ebola survivors and their sexual partners should receive counseling to ensure safe practices until their semen has twice tested negative. Dead bodies remain infectious. People who are at higher risk may include people who prepare dead Ebola patients for burial, health workers who are treating infected people, family members or close relatives of people who are infected. Symptoms The incubation period, or the length of time from infection with a virus to onset of symptom, is between 2 to 21 days. Symptoms may include sudden onset of high fever, sore throat, fatigue, muscle pain, lack of appetite, joint and muscle pain. Some patients may experience rash, red eyes, difficulty swallowing, difficulty breathing, bleeding inside and outside of the body, cough, hiccups. Diagnosis and treatment. To make a diagnosis, other conditions will first be ruled out. It should be noted that samples and specimens from patients with Ebola 
are extreme biohazard risk. Testing should therefore be conducted under maximum biological containment conditions. Several tests that may be used in making the diagnosis include antigen capture enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay, or ELISA testing, virus isolation by cell culture, electron microscopy, polymerase chain reaction, IgM ELISA. Treatment. No proven treatment options are available for the condition, though researchers are working on it. The symptoms of Ebola are managed with oral or intravenous fluid, oxygen, blood pressure medications, blood transfusions. The Ebola outbreak in West Africa is over. If you are traveling to these areas, it is advisable to follow these simple procedures. A regular wash of hands with soap and water. Wash and properly peel fruits and vegetables. Avoid physical contact with persons showing symptoms. Avoid bush meats eating raw meat of dead animals, and handling dead animals. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.